Are you looking for a new app to run your DJI drones from your Android phone? I know that there's been a lot of complaints about the DJI Go app with Android platform and how unstable it really is. So today I'm taking a look at an app called Drone Harmony. It's an amazing app that lets you plan all kinds of trips and, and flights all in advance, being able to map everything out on Google Earth. We're gonna take a look at it today, see all the functionality and how it can help you create better content coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. My name's Timothy and on this channel, I focus on tech tools and tutorials to help you create the best content you can for your YouTube channels and your production. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and joining the community. I do wanna go ahead and apologize for the lack of uploads over the last two months. I have been slammed with my job at my nonprofit in Guatemala, but I'm back in the States now. So look for new episodes every week right here on the channel. Quick shout out to Drone Harmony for for sponsoring this video today. I am excited to partner with these guys to show off their amazing app and their incredible customer service, which has just blown me away. So definitely check out the app. I'm gonna leave links in the description below, but without further ado, let's get into the app. So one of the things that you need to do, first of all, with this app, once you've downloaded it, is just open it up, pick a selection for um, just where you're at. It's gonna zoom right into a map, and then you're gonna be able to do a couple things. Obviously, you can go ahead and just fly the drone. There's several different options where you can actually plan a waypoint type mission as you're flying it, so that's kind of cool, very much similar to um, the, the kind of um, options that you have with Lychee or with DJI Go even, um, but what's What's really, really cool and what set this, sets this app apart is its ability to um, just do planning of your flights ahead of time. So a lot of times you might be uh, in a situation like you know exactly what you're wanting to shoot um, and you just want to go ahead and map out the shot in advance. Or um, if you're in a professional setting where you want to go ahead and do site survey and that kind of stuff, this is the perfect app for that. So what I've done is gone into the app. There's a couple things that you can do here right off the bat. Um, you just go in and start outlining. It's a very simple interface. Um, you start outlining the buildings and structures in your um, in your area. So I picked this church here in my community um, because it's going to have a really great shot with the mountains behind it. And so what I've done is just gone into the app and I'm just going to speed this process up for you. So it's really simple. You just basically go in and trace out the buildings and the trees and the things that are around your area. Then it creates this really awesome uh, 3D model. And so uh, you can go in and uh, look at your 3D model. You can see everything in place, how you want to uh, set it all up, and then you can go in and trace out a flight pattern. Once you do that, uh, you are set, you're ready to go. This can be used for um, you know, your videos, basically to create really awesome smooth footage ahead of time um, and to not have to worry about you know manually taking care of the controller but it can also be used for photographs um, say you want to create a 3d rendering of a building uh, this has built-in modes that will take pictures all different angles up down sides all these things that allow you to composite um, a 3d image so if you're doing site survey those kind of things that's going to be great for this but then also there's a couple modes in here and i want to just look quickly at the different um, uh, camera options that you have so you have the uh, you know if you pull up this menu you have the top down which basically captures areas from above you have uh, site capture which i was talking about in order to create 3d models perimeters so if you're using this to maybe inspect uh, a building or or a tower or something that would be great for this uh, circle obviously just orbiting around it an ellipse which is nice if you want to get just a little bit more of a motion around an elliptical path and then a convex hole which uh, captures areas by orbiting around them along a convex hole path so that's kind of cool there's also shapes like orbits panoramic orbits helix which is a really nice reveal option it's sort of like a spiral staircase where it just kind of uh, circles around it really really neat um, so you want to check that out and what we're going to hang out today is actually in the parabolic reveal and reverse reveal 
um, and the horizontal reveal. I think that these are really, really great options for the cinematographers out there. Um, so we're gonna take a look at those. But then the other options, obviously, the quick, the quick menu brings up the rocket, just shooting straight up in the air, and the zoom outs, sort of for selfie modes. And then you have the manual, where you can actually just program out your waypoints in advance, so you have a whole mission planned out. Um, and then there's the by flying concept, which I talked about earlier in the video, where um, you can actually fly the drone exactly how you want to line up all the shots. It'll save the waypoints, it'll save where the, the gimbal is pointed, where the camera is pointed, um, and then basically just save that whole mission so that you can come back and fly it again later, um, or allow the, the actual app to control the smoothness of the flight, the speed, um, you know, smooth out the corners and everything so you don't have to worry about having any kind of jerks or shaky footage. All right, so I have outlined the actual building of the church. I've outlined a few of the trees out front. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and connect my DJI Phantom 4 Pro, which I haven't showed you on the channel yet, but it's coming up very soon. I'm gonna do a lot more uh, content around this drone. So I'm gonna go ahead and boot it up and see how it connects to the app. So as you boot up your drone, you will notice that it does pull up all of the information as normal up top. So you have what mode you are in, this being uh, P mode, and then the amount of satellites, I'm connected to 14 satellites, the um, signal power strength, the signal strength from your RC controller, the battery percentage, the SD card percentage, um, and then you're gonna have things like your speed and your distance and all that uh, up there eventually. You also have um, the drone, you can see right there on the map, if I'm gonna zoom in here, you can see that my drone is, is sitting right there. Uh, the red lines indicate the field of view of the camera, so that's pretty cool. Um, so you can see exactly where that's hitting. And then you have this little preview box down here that if you select it, you can get a live feed from the uh, from the drone, and you can even create um, you know this little these little um, guidelines to help you cue things up appropriately. Uh, I did go ahead and create a parabolic reveal, so I'm going to show that on the map. Um, and all I need to do is click on play, and it says that the currently connected drone camera the uh, DJI Phantom 4 Pro, which it automatically detects, is not the same as the one for which the Mitch was computed, DJI Mavic Pro. So I, when I initially made this, uh, I had my, my Mavic Pro set up here, um, but it's okay, we're gonna go ahead and click launch. And then during the flight, these are the options that you get. You can either use precise images by stopping along the waypoint and capturing an image. Uh, those are just gonna be pictures, JPEGs. Um, the flybys, so many images uh, every second, so you're kind of creating maybe a time-lapse kind of feature, uh, or video. In this case, we're gonna use video. So I'm just gonna click video. Um, the plan launch point is 212 feet away from the current position, so make sure there's no elevation difference and no obstacles. So um, I am not in the current place that I had planned, uh, so that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and, and fly it over there in a minute, but you're gonna set your speed here. So I'm gonna have it set uh, really slow, the first time, uh, just because I want to see that. Camera focus mode, you want it to be on infinity, and then hover over landing green point. We're just going to, um, yeah, hover over. That's exactly what we want. And then we're gonna hit launch. Now, here's an important feature that you need to know about. If at any point during the flight something goes wrong and you need to grab control of your drone, all you have to do is hit the switch on the controller to change modes. So that's gonna be like switching to sport mode um, or something like that, and it's gonna automatically jump out of that scheduled flight path um, and you're gonna regain control. All right, so let's go ahead and hit launch. And it's going to upload the plan to the drone and the drone's gonna take off. It started auto takeoff. It's flying over to the point of where the takeoff point is. And you can see it visualized right there on the map where all it's heading. And it's lining everything up. And again, I'm not doing anything right here. You can see I have the controller. It's doing everything on its own. So it's lined up at the takeoff point now, and up it goes. 
So it's creating this beautiful reveal of the church and the scenery behind it. I've just followed up with that steeple. Uh, it goes straight up into the climb and then it just kind of arches over the church, which is really, really cool. Um, obviously not something that's too difficult to pull off on your own, but the, the idea that this is all doing it uh, without me having to do anything uh, is really, really neat. Um, and also the fact that I was able to plan this out before I even arrived at the church, um, that is a really cool feature because a lot of times, you know, you're having these flights, say you're in a real estate situation and time is absolutely money. You've got a client standing there waiting on you. Um, and what you need to be able to do is just create this, this shot very quickly. And so you could have the night before or the morning of planned out everything, uh, mapped out all the trees, figured out exactly you know where everything's at, and then you have a, a really confident way of flying around your property uh, to, to, to check things out. All right, so let's say I want to do a, a different, say I want to do a different flight plan. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the plus button here. That's going to bring up our different options. Let's go over to shapes and let's create a horizontal parabolic reveal. So I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna hit there as the takeoff point and submit. And then you get this 3D mapping option again. You can turn up the height. So I'm gonna bring it right, right about there so we're able to see over the top of that steeple. Bring that maybe right about there. I think my heights are off on the church actually, so that's all right. Um, bring the depth, be right about there. Length, let's go ahead and bring the length around so we get a nice turn and the rotation right about there. So I'm gonna get a really nice little pivot right there. The skew. We're gonna leave that at right about 9.5 clockwise and inward. All right, let's click. Uh, Oops, let's click generate. And there we go. Now we have two options here. We're gonna look at the other reveal and see that that is the case right there. Looks good. You'll notice that it does go over the top of the trees uh, that I've programmed in there. So let's go ahead and hit play, video. Gonna keep it really slow again. Um, let's just do 4.5 miles an hour and launch and off. It's gonna to upload to the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. It's gonna go up to the altitude that I specified. And make sure you're in a really nice open area when you're doing these missions. Um, obviously the the Phantom 4 Pro has extra sensors in it, so it tracks all the way around it. But uh, in this case, you know that you just want to kind of treat that as 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 an extra feature, <laughs> something that you're not relying on. Um, they do work in this scenario, but um, it's good to go ahead and, and make sure that you're open and in a, in a clear area always, and abiding by your local rules and regulations for drone flying. So all of that completely automated, uh, really, really cool. I'm gonna hit the pause button here. I'm gonna actually land the drone and then I'm gonna go ahead and program a couple more flight patterns for it uh, so I can be conserving battery and that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and land the drone, turn it off, jump into the app and program a, another mission.
there you have it. Just a really quick intro video. Not very quick, but there's just a ton of features to cover with this amazing app. I'm going to be doing more videos in the future about it. Uh, if you're interested in specific ways that you think it could work for you and you want me to show you how to do that, why don't you drop a comment down below and let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys how you think this app would work for you um, and how I can continue to help you guys make the best content you can for your YouTube channels and productions. So thanks for stopping by today, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.